What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with Mark Jennison, the original comeback, the creator of this movement, the man that's going to help you change your life. Listen, today's topic. More of the same gets you more of the same. The situation doesn't matter. Doing the same thing day in and day out with the same tools, the same mindset, the same frame, the same shitty, broken patterns that got you to where you're at will never change the desired outcome that you're looking for. As I stand here today, just making this podcast from my hotel in uh, Huntington Beach, California, I can see these waves crashing. And I can think about the same actions it took when I was there too. So backstory, if you don't know me, I spent my 20s in Southern California. I'm here today to, for a, a marketing seminar, but regardless of that, the same patterns I had living here in this beautiful, sunny vacation, life ch- oasis of happiness and joy and water and just freedom shitty ha- actions that I took there were the same actions I took back to when I went to Wisconsin. It didn't matter the geographical location they had. Now, here's what I want you to understand this. A lot of you guys think that you can move from here to there, from point A to point B. I can run from my problem. I can run to this point. I can, I can move to Georgia. I can go wherever I'm at. But here's the thing. You never change the actions. Now, this comes from being a businessman, from parenting, from being a husband, to drinking, to drugs, to smoking, to eating patterns. It doesn't truly matter. You cannot attack and win any problem or overcome any problem, I should say, by doing the same repeated patterns. When I think back to what got me into the patterns here in Southern California when I was living here, they were the same ones that I learned, created for myself that I owned from the time that I was 14, 15 years old. I was operating from scarcity. I was was operating with a false sense of fake cockiness called confidence that I was calling it to be the man to fit in everywhere I, everywhere I could I would beat you up I'd do whatever it could be I would make more money I would work harder I, I would fucking basically show off until one day I realized that's not who I want to be I realized that to make the next change to, to reach the next level to become the man that I was truly see inside of the mirror the, the, the man that I believed that I was called to be was going to require some different level of actions When you listen to these self-help gurus, whether it's myself, whether it's Tony Robbins, whether it's Garrett, whose events I'm at, it doesn't truly matter. The message is always the same. You've got to want more. It's going to take work. It's going to take take discipline, but it's got to start with some desire and willingness to change. Doing more of the same thing, changing the location, running from your problems, running from your wife, running from your kids, running from the future that you fucking know you want is going to get you exactly what you don't want. So the lesson here today is very, very simple. I want you to get out pen and paper and I want you to write down five patterns, five behavioral patterns that you know inside that are not congruent with who you want to be. Is it drinking? Is it hanging out with certain friends? Is it an emotion you get attached to when you close a big deal or a big sale or your company does well? I don't truly care. What I want you to do is write them down, look at them and try to eliminate them for the next 21 days. It'll take 21 days to create a habit, create a change, but at least then you'll be able to see what's going on. So my friend, the question for you today is this. Are you going to continue to have the same behavior patterns? Are you going to continue to sit and whine and cry about your drinking problem? Are you going to sit and want to cry and whine about your wife leaving you? Are you going to sit, cry and whine about your kids growing up without you, your financial situation? Or maybe everything's good, but you can see the writing on the wall. It's about to fuck up. You can't change anything until you change yourself. And that's a very, very powerful statement. That's it for today's episode of 5 Minutes of Fire with Mark Jensen. I will be back tomorrow with another one. You have an amazing day. Change something, do something. I'm a comeback.